Hey there YouTube, today I'm just going to give an overview of my new Iron Panther 5x10 3K CL. I'm going to do a little walk around, uh, give a brief overview, my buying experience, some thoughts, and I'll um, go from the coupler to rear and explain everything on it. So, I bought this 5x10 uh, here in San Jose, California. I purchased it for two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, all my own money that I worked for over the summer or last summer. Um, I'm seventeen right now, so the reason why I bought this landscape trailer uh, is because I want to do uh, my junk a junk removal business sort of side hustle o over this uh, coming summer. Um, right now it's May of 2021 and uh, as, as far as my purchasing experience went I've been doing a lot of research I've been looking at a lot of trailers used and new and um, if you're familiar with uh, what's going on in the world you may know that there's a lot of wood and metal shortage, shortages and just overall materials are hard to come by nowadays but that's all right so I ordered uh, this trailer about three weeks ago um, from uh, FJM Truck and Trailer Center in San Jose, California. And I just got it about two days ago. Um, so I thought that I might share uh, my new trailer and uh, give, an ins give some insight to those who are either interested in just looking at the quality of Iron Panther brand or are uh, specifically interested in buying a landscape trailer similar to this um, that about pretty much covers my backstory to this um, yeah let's just jump in and uh, look, look at the uh, front, going from front to back uh, all the features so I came here with a two inch coupler uh, that, that works just fine for me uh, safety chains uh, I have an adapter hooked up right now, uh, but it came with a four-way connector. Um, I, I have a uh, Silverado, so it's a seven-way, so I just have an adapter there. But anyway, um, came with this uh, tongue jack, uh, which is, I actually really like this because um, this will actually fold horizontally, and uh, it, it's, I don't even have to think about that when I'm, you know, going over a dip in the road or whatnot, don't have to worry about scraping it and bending it. But um, anyway, the, it also came with uh, Dexter axles, and they are 3,500 pounds. Um, as far as the construction of the uh, tongue up here, it's it's okay with the C channel. I'm just not a big fan. I wish they would have done square tubing, but that's all right. Um, as far as weld quality goes, I know it's a big thing a lot now with trailer manufacturers. They just skip out on stuff and they don't do a, a very good job. They're, they're just trying to pump these things out and get them to the, the buyer. But um, I would say Iron Panther, they did a great job with the welding and especially the paint too. That's another thing that uh, manufacturers will skip out on. Um, no, they won't even put the primer on. They'll just paint them, but that's all right. Uh, this is where I would put just another another jack if this wasn't here, but I, I like that because I can still open my tailgate down um, and not have to worry about getting it uh, banged up. Um, another thing, made in the USA with Brian. That's great. Um, here's some, here's the, like all the stickers that have important info. So this, just reiterate, this is a the model number is LT012. It is a 5x10 3K CL landscape trailer. Um, came, comes with 15 inch rims, 205 75 tires. Um, let's see. And that's just uh, torque requirements. So, this is a 5 lug, so. That's the one you want. Um, we'll, we'll see how these Dexter axles perform. Um, they seem really good quality. 
and the, the uh, brand and company seem reputable. Um, so yeah, just taking a look at the front here again. I do like how they have these uh, tie-down hooks. These are welded on really well. Um, they throughout the trailer there's a uh, uh, angle iron, which is I mean it's okay um, as far as strength-wise. The square tubing, which they have on the top, which I do like very much. The angle iron's okay, but um, square tubing is obviously stronger. Uh, or at least I correct me if I'm wrong. But um, let's go this way. There's a lights. There's also I'm not I don't think this is a blinker light, just a running light for um, yeah, just for, for when you're driving. But yeah, I, I like these lights. They're sunken in actually because they're less susceptible to being smashed, which is a big problem on trailers. Um, these are two foot metal sides. And the overall height from floor to the top of the square tubing is uh, three feet. Um, uh, I think it's like two and a half, almost almost three feet. Um, it came with a spare tire rack. Should uh, hopefully I will never have to use that, but uh, gonna, I need to get a spare tire. Um, I'll probably find one on Craigslist or whatnot. But anyway. Um, over here, they, they, I really like this how they include the diamond plate here, um, and just putting this tri triangle piece in here because it just makes this this fender, uh, I would say, more sturdy. Um, yep, five lug, uh, 15 inch rims, 205, 75 tires. Uh, let's see, Ameritrail. Never heard the brand, but they seem fine. Um, Yep, and yeah, I'm gonna have to. There, you can grease the axles here. Let me get a view from underneath. There's the leaf springs. There's our axle. There's the other leaf springs. So we'll see how this see how this holds up. Um, yep, and still, they included the tie downs everywhere, so that's good. Uh, pretty standard uh, turn signal lights. I like these as well because these are less susceptible to getting broken, so that's good. Um, tailgate here, I think it's a four foot mesh tailgate. I wish they, I wish tra trailer manufacturers would put in another uh, square tubing uh, barn here. That just makes the the um, mesh more durable or as far as if you're going in and out of it a lot it makes it so it won't bend as easy fjmtruckcenter.com let me open this uh, tailgate for you or the ramp gate it's quite heavy See, I could probably fit a small garden tractor in here. Um, ATV, definitely dirt bikes, snowmobile, anything of that nature. Even a, even a small, like, John Deere tractor. Yep. So they, they do screw the boards down in, so. And the, the marks, um, that's a one-off thing. That's just from, uh, I would say... Uh, when they were shipping it, they put the uh, tires in um, from the for from the, all the other trailers. But nah, I don't really care. That's fine. Um, as far as that goes, there's a trailer. Um, so that, like I said, I've owned this for a couple of days now. Um, and so far, I, initial quality, uh, off the charts, looks great. Uh, I can't wait to use this for my business this summer. Uh, please comment below if you have any questions for me. Um, I'm more feel uh, I'm more than happy to answer you. Um, yep, overall, this is a great, great trailer. Can't wait to use it. 
Um, thanks for watching this video. Um, uh, please consider liking, subscribing, and I'll also um, do maybe a six month or one year follow up on how the trailer's doing and uh, my thoughts uh, then. Uh, all right, have a good day.